light. Why am I looking at this? It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. Okay. An energy bar, huh? So do I give that to Clementine? I have, have to look around, talk to everyone. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. I took care of Clementine. I protected her. Hey there. Hi. Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. Can I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. Still, huh? Yeah, it wasn't much. I know, Glenn. I'll see if I can find something else for you. Now, why would I say that? We should get to know each other. Why would I say that? So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I think so. Uh, being good is good. Despite the circumstances. Yep. We'll sit tight. Okay. What in the world? That was some awkward dialogue. So, uh, now what? I'm not gonna give him an energy bar, hell no. Nah. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. Well, it was his fault. He did this. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. He got a temper. Why not be a savage? He's got a temper. Ah, fuck you! Yeah, he doesn't mean it. It's just that... Yeah? We've got kids here. Family. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell, that it seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. Yeah, very. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm the sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. Really? I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Really? Oh, so that's the office? Alive inside. Hold on. Now, before I go in that office, I want to talk to everyone else. N know their story. Oh, we here. can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. It's not much, but here, for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Hey, Lee. You really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. 
Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. I was stuck to it. It's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How is she doing? She's good. She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What are you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. Really? Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? Well, we know that they own this place. Now we know your family dead. They, uh, own this place. They, uh, pulled some bodies out of the office before we got here. They're, uh, gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but, yeah, they're dead. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? It was. Well, it happened real fast. It happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves. Over we him. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice to kill John. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Hmm. Trying to let it go. Damn. Well, it's, it's, it, well, I talked to them. How come Duck didn't talk? We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. I don't remember them very well. I'm trying to look around. Try to get some rest, Hunter. How can I with those things out there? No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. Wait, who is this? Doug? Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Not now. Uh, not right now. All right, let me know if you want to. I'm not gonna go out there right now. Carly, so give her... You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. Oh, he has a cross on Doug. How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. Wait a minute. What kind of radio is that? Nothing. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. 
Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. I'll give her the um the um, energy bar. Here. I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, um, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't need it? She's good. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. You're a good caretaker. Thanks. Alright, so let me um now I gotta find batteries. Central High Tech State. Paper's a week old. Feels like years. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. And I have to find... Oh, here's the battery. Oh, okay, so so keep looking around. Have to find these batteries. The way how they made the game look pretty good. Man, the way how they made this game... Well, the graphics are all right, and the gameplay is all right. It's it's all about point and click. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. Hey, Carling. Okay. It's still not working. Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Seriously. Go ahead. Seriously. If the batteries are in, then... Hmm, nothing. I don't know. Maybe I should switch the batteries. Is that all I had to do? Is that all I had to do was switch the batteries? Really? Antenna. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Put that up. Yeah. They put the antenna up. And now turn on the. I mean, turn on the radio. It should work now. Right? As the you fixed it. Continues to spread unchecked. The estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full. Uh, my, my producer's telling me we have to get off the air now. Steve. Uh, WABE wishes you and your loved one. God bless you all. Damn. Hey there. That radio sign off didn't sound too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. You don't have to be. It's traumatic. I'm sure some people got out. Maybe they're all being rescued. Then again, maybe not. No, this your concern. All right, now let's talk to the guy. How we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Okay, why not? Let's have a look around. Okay. I might as well talk to... Why not talk to this guy? Jesus. Damn. Man, look at this. There's so many walking. He just eat. As far as I can tell, that's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Exactly. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Yeah, you better keep it down out here. Talk to Doug. How'd you end up here? I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time. On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. What about you? I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good people. That's his family. Do you think we're safe here? Well, I haven't been able to get through this gate so far. 
The drugstore's safe enough, I think. Whoever owned it took good care of it. It's well stocked and locks up well. What's everyone like in there? Oh, well, Carly's pretty nice, you know. <laughs> yeah. Lily doesn't take any crap. She's been running the show, keeping people on watch, things like that. And her dad... Yeah, that guy. He's kind of a dick. Pardon my French. Is there more dialogue? Any idea where the pharmacy keys might be? We searched high and low inside before you guys got here. They weren't on the old couple we took out of the office. Damn. Are you okay? I'm fine. If the keys aren't in the drugstore, think they could be out of here? We now live in a world where getting up and walking away is an actual possibility. So. Right. Okay, so let's look around. <laughs> Too bad we don't have a way to come out here and watch the news. Would be nice to know what's going on elsewhere. Atlanta's in rough shape, that's all I know. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Damn. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Really? Yeah, I see a walker over there. Look at the one trapped over there. Better him than us, huh? Edward. Oh shit. What? Do you know that guy? Oh no. Who is he? Is that his family? He could be a drugstore employee. So you're saying he might have the pharmacy keys? I'm saying he might have the pharmacy keys. I don't know. Could be anybody, you know? If they start rotting and get all chewed up and... Shut up, Doc. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore. And died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. Damn. Is that his brother? Is that Lee's brother that he was talking about? No way. Lee's brother. We proved that that guy worked here. And then we can try to clear the street to search him for the keys. Yeah, probably easier said than done. Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Well, Mo, what? Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? Well, Mo, where'd you get that? That's universal. Weird. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. What? Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? I got a few of them to take notice. But not enough. Damn. Those TVs are on, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? Oh, whoop. I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys oh, showed my up, bad. and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Oh, my bad. I didn't want to do that. So now what? We can't go out there. Oh, there's a brick. I can't reach that brick. What? What do you mean? It's right there. All you gotta do is thread your hand. I can't reach that brick. Wow. You can't reach the brick. Those things like TV. Or at least the sound of it. 
If they were louder, we might be able to clear the street. Well, let's go back inside. Let's head back inside. Okay. There is no there's no reason for me to be out here because I think that was a waste. Well at least we know what happened. Where did he get that remote? Where did Lee get that remote anyway? Oh, what's this? Photographs. Is that a family? Is that a brother? Are those his parents? His brother, his parents? No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead cards. Damn. It's all melted now. Well. Alive inside. They said that they pulled bodies in the back. His family is dead. His brother died outside. And his family, his parents died in here? Well, they're not in here. Oh, Clementine's with me. Oh, man. I can't. I can't think about them in here. Well, damn, look at this. They said they... They pulled them in the back alley. This door leads to the back alley. Why are they butting out that music? Why is that music going? Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. Everyone out there seem all right to you? Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for him. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. Oh, whoops. I'm My gonna bad. keep looking around. Okay. So now what? My parents came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. Wow, they really did die in here. And there's a photo. A photo of his parents. Now that's a pretty good photo. His brother, he worked at the drugstore. He was the employee. His parents owned this place. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, why did you find anything? He ripped it. Oh, wow. Now, why would I lie? He trying to hide. It's a photo of the family who owned this place. It might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? I'll say no. No. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Wow. N now we know. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Damn. Oh, wow. Now we know the truth of Lee. Now we know the truth of Lee Everett. Lee Everett was a killer. No wonder why he was in that police car. He, he, he went to jail for murder, serving a life sentence. His wife cheated on him for someone else. He was a teacher. Oh, wait a minute, what's that? So he was lying this whole time. Well, he wasn't lying. He didn't want to tell no one. 
He What's gave that? Me... Uh oh. This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you and your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dad's just smart like that. Exactly. We ought to clear this door for when we find the keys. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Why not? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. <clears throat> How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? I thought she heard what he was... I think I asked about her parents. What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I, uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. Man. <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they like hate you? I thought she I thought she overheard them. Uh, because they're dead. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. You didn't know. I'm just sorry for being mean. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I killed some I think I'll say. I'll go a circle. I'm not a bad guy, okay? Things happen and we didn't talk much after that. My parents don't talk to me when I get in trouble. I can relate. Ow! Oh, oh. Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. Oh, man. I'll find you a bandage. I, I I see that first day kid. I knew there was something in there. Oh, oh, whoa, I got something. Oh, actually, wait a minute. Hold on. Let's have a look at that finger. Now. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Does it hurt when I do this? A little, not too much. You sure? Yeah. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Well, all better. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? I don't know why Lee didn't tell her. How come Lee? Lee How come Lee didn't want to tell her? I, I might as well come. I clean. asked you a question. I don't think they will. They want you to be safe. We'll find them if we can. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Oh, this is a TV remote. It's the remote to my dad's TV. Wait a minute. Uh, didn't Lee have... Wait a minute. Uh, didn't Lee already have that remote? That's what I figured. Alright, so now what? Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Not anymore, but... Your finger. It's okay. 
Thanks for fixing it. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. Wait, but didn't she already say that? I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Well, let's go. I think it's time to leave. Shouldn't he take that cane as a weapon? Could well you never know. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? I might as well come clean, because you might understand. No, he wasn't. Oh. Was he bad? He was. I think she'll understand. I don't want to lie to everyone. So now what? Should I check on this guy? Hey. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Okay. Okay, I guess not. How come I can't go through here? Okay. Should I talk to her again? How's your finger, Clem? Good. It doesn't hurt so much anymore. Good. I know I'm not your dad, but if you need anything, I'm your guy, okay? Okay. Same. You're my guy? Oh, no. You know. We're gonna try to take care of each other. Yes. Deal. Let me know if you need anything. Okay. Y hey check. there. Uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kinda in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I, uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? Awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Well, let's go. What are we waiting for? Time to go. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> 